Elliot, do you think dating women in this age is trash? It's hard to find a good woman that hasn't been ran through by 20 guys. Yeah, I feel bad for you guys. Not only that, they take half your money when they initiate, and they initiate divorce. <laughs> yeah, you know, that's why I dove into Red Pill, because I wanted to understand where you guys are coming from. I haven't struggled that way. I married my high school girlfriend. She turned out to be a great woman, an amazing woman. She wasn't promiscuous, I wasn't promiscuous, and we were able to grow together. And that's why if I had to offer advice, it could only be based on my own experience. And my experience is, look, if you don't want a girl who's been run through by 20 guys, which is who's gonna happen by the time she's 19, then link up, <laughs> link up with a girl early. Either that or grow into your, into your sexual market value, build yourself as a man and forget women, which is probably the better, better bet. And then when you're ready for women, go get a young one. Go get one that's been unsullied by 20 cocks, right? Some women may change, yeah, I get it. I, but I don't want her to change after she's been through her party years, you see? That's kind of the paradox. They're teaching women that it's okay to be promiscuous and ride that cock carousel when you're, you know, you're fresh and young and you're 19. And then when they start turning around like 29 and they get close to hitting the wall and dread starts to sit in, then they want a good guy. They want to settle down. That's bullshit after he was riding that carousel. Mm -mm. That's why I think just as a whole, promiscuity needs to slow down. We need to stop fucking men and women. Slow down and get a little bit more mature about ourselves, what we want out of life, instead of YOLOing this shit up. YOLO's a lie. You don't live only once. You live for and through eternity. So don't waste this fucking life YOLOing like a hoe. Ah. I'm not fasting right now. I do 16 eights. I'm putting weight back on. I got down to 168. Today I was about 100, 189. I'm trying to gain the weight without putting on fat like I usually do. So I gotta do a lot of carb rotation and intermittent fasting, 16 eight, or OMAD if I don't train like yesterday. Sefco wants to know why his abs are fading after doing hard workouts, because you, you might have too much cortisol. You're training yourself out of results. You're like too stressed out, you might not be getting enough sleep. You gotta remember, working out is a stress too. So if you got stress from circadian stress, chemical stress, emotional stress, it all accumulates. <laughs> and then your body can't handle it, and then you're working out on top of it, you get diminishing returns. You might need to actually just back off a little bit, back off the train a little bit, or get more sleep. That's usually the one that fucks people up. Ah. Do I believe in God? No, I know God. God is not a believing. A believing is based on facts and information and conjecture and other people's opinions. Knowing? arises from the unconscious, arises from deep, from the pattern, from the father, from the eternal, not the material matrix. So there's no need for belief when there's direct experience. <laughs> this is funny. You shaved your head completely, tired of hair. You know, I had a shaved head most of my life through high school, <laughs> a lot of college. And if you go back and you watch my videos on this channel, from the beginning, <laughs> you'll notice Shaved Head Elliot until I started wearing a mohawk. And then I got sexy, 2013. Started taking my shirt, shirt off. That's how I got a million subscribers. I put gel in my hair and took my shirt off. <laughs> now I don't give a shit. Somebody asked me if I have a Tesla. No, I don't have a Tesla car. I did, but I didn't want it anymore. Those are Tesla batteries that, that hold storage from my solar panels on the top of my house. I got a kick out of the idea that I could harness my own power from the sun and I'm a fire sign. So I own my power. I get my power from, think about like the sun and how we call Jesus the sun, the creator and the giver of life. So I'm getting my energy, I'm getting my power straight from God. Except, uh, I still owe the bank. <laughs> mm. 
my cat's bells. His receding hairline is killing him. Listen, my scalp psoriasis, which that was just dust from the ceiling, was killing me. I get it. And that's why I just shake this shit off. Sometimes I just, that's the best thing to do. Unless you want to wear a big fucking feather bouffant like this dude. Then you'll be real alpha.